Dr. D.S. Yes. Rana, Gangaram Hospital was in the news where some two dozen um, sickest patients you said died uh, last night. What is your situation of oxygen supply now? Uh, how bad has it been? What, what are your teams telling you about how nervous it's been for them to try and deal with this constant, do we have oxygen, do we not have oxygen, are people going to run out of oxygen, what are we going to do? How strenuous has this been for you, Dr. Anna? You know, we were the first to raise this issue four days back when we faced acute shortage of oxygen. And uh, at that time we raised this issue to our MLA, Mr. Raghav Jada, who is there in the audience. In the, yeah. And he also worked very hard and the other people are working hard. Since then they are assuring small, small amount of oxygen to us on hourly basis lasting for a few hours. And right now also our situation is like that, that we are having oxygen which will not last more than one and a half hours, even if we economize it now. So we, and every, we have approached the Delhi government officers and they are ensuring that uh, the supply will come. The good news is that uh, at least Delhi government has assured us that from midnight today we will be getting at least approximately our requirement of uh, 9,000 cubic meter of oxygen every day, while our requirement is nearly now 11,000 actually. And as far as deaths are concerned in the morning, there were little misinterpreted. We were, that, uh, that did, uh, deaths didn't occur because of lack of oxygen. Some, uh, we were maintaining oxygen supply. Though there was no doubt that uh, at night also, we were maintaining and we were uh, fighting for oxygen and uh, Raghu Jada will bear with me that he was also uh, awake and I was also awake till about 1 o'clock when we ensured supply, but there was a very small supply, like a in about one ton. For such a large hospital, which has got 515 patients treating, treat, being treated at main hospital, and now we are facing the and crisis in another hospital, city hospital, Gangaram city hospital, is treating almost 95 of COVID patients, and there also there is no oxygen now. There is hardly any oxygen for half an hour or so and we are crying and I only hope that we are able to get this oxygen and uh, if we are not able to get oxygen then in another one hour we will face a very serious crisis actually. But uh, fortunately we, we are quite hopeful that so if we are they have been addressing our issue for last four days, time, probably they will not uh, You have oxygen situation. supply which can last you only for an hour and it's been like this for four days. Raghav Chadda, the Delhi government was earlier complete. The uh, Delhi government was earlier complaining that Haryana and Uttar Pradesh are not allowing oxygen to come in. Then the central government intervened, ensured that there must be no stoppages. Is that being maintained? Do you see the situation get better from tonight? Or are we still very, very delicately poised? Right. <coughs> so, uh, Rahul, first of all, I must thank uh, Dr. Rana for being so kind and generous and saying such nice things about me. I was just doing my duty and I, he is somebody that all of us have grown up looking up to and his service to mankind is is invaluable and we salute Dr. Rana and his institution's contribution in this fight against COVID. Now having said that, look, there is an unprecedented increase in the demand of oxygen across the country. Everyone knows that. The problem initially was of supply. When Delhi demanded 700 metric tons of oxygen, we were given only 378 metric tons of oxygen. So there was a huge supply gap. Then we petitioned the union government, we requested them, we, we you know, uh, begged before them and finally our quota was increased from 378 to 480 metric ton. Now out of this 480 metric ton, about 125 metric ton Rahul has not reached Delhi and it will take a substantial amount of time to reach Delhi merely because it is going to come from far away places in West Bengal and Odisha some of them are 1600, 1700, 1800 kilometers away. I can name the places uh, Durgapur, Rorkila, Kalinga Nagar, etc. So therefore, this is already a gap that we are trying to fill and we haven't managed to yet. We are hopeful that the, the logistical arrangements will be made soon and the, the, the additional 120, 120 odd metric tons that have been assigned will reach us. Now, out of the uh, 378 metric ton that was previously allocated to us, we have now started receiving a substantial chunk of it. There have been certain 
um, you know, I can say um, uh, the, the, the issues that we are facing seems to be subsiding. All of them have not yet subsided. I'm being absolutely crystal clear and honest with you as somebody who's involved in this process, who's neck deep into, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm monitoring this movement of trucks, etc. I can tell you that uh, until this very uh, afternoon, 4 p.m., we got 172 metric ton out of 480 that was promised. But by come midnight, I'm very sure we will get about 100, 150, close to 200 more metric ton and every hospital will be supplied oxygen. But I gave you a complete breakdown of where things stand simply to explain to you that everybody today is hand to mouth as far as oxygen is concerned. We are trying our level, level best despite supply chain issues and that is precisely what the Honorable Chief Minister Rahul today highlighted before the Prime Minister that if Prime Minister and his office intervenes, these supply chain issues can be resolved.